हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री सीरीज विद जेट पैक कम्पोज टुडे लेट्स ड्राइव इनटू द नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट द फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन और फैब द फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन अपीयर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल अदर कंटेंट ऑन स्क्रीन एंड इज रिकॉग्नाइजेबल फॉर इट्स राउंडेड शेप एंड आइकन इन द सेंटर फैब इज यूज फॉर रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ स्क्रीन प्राइमरी एक्शन Before moving forward let's have a brief look at scaffold. The scaffold is a top level component in Jetpack Compose that provides a framework to implement the basic material design layout structure. It provides slots for a navigation bar, a floating action button, a drawer and other user interface components. A scaffold manages the layout of these components for you. so you don't have to worry about how the fab should move when a snack bar appears or how the drawer should animate on screen let's go ahead and jump into our android studio now first let's create a new file so with the material 3 library we have this composable function called floating action button this one so here we need to provide this on click functionality so we don't give any functionality J let's just write a simple comment and within these parentheses we need to provide the content of this floating action button generally floating action button contains an icon so let's take an icon now we will use this floating action button composable function in a scaffold so for that here let's create one more composable function so in this scaffold composable function we have this parameter called floating action button so here we can provide our floating action button and within these parentheses we need to provide the content of this scaffold so let's take a list of items now let's use this composable function in our main activity now let's run our app so here we have our floating action button we can see in the bottom right corner and we can scroll our list like this and that fab will be there in that corners so let's click on this so nothing will happen because we have not given any on click functionality so let's minimize this and let's go back to our file now let's scroll down and let's click control b so here we can see this is the documentation so we can also use this modifier and then there is this container color and this content color so we can also change these colors but the default ones are the best one so let's close this file and other than this we have two more sizes of this floating action button a small fab and large fab a small floating action button is used for a secondary or supporting action and a large floating action button is useful when the layout calls for a clear and prominent primary action and where a larger footprint would help the user engage so first let's use that small fab 
लेट्स क्रिएट वन मोर कंपोजिबल फंक्शन कॉल्ड स्मॉल फैब एंड कॉल दैट स्मॉल फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन कंपोजिबल फंक्शन विच कम्स विद मटीरियल थ्री लाइब्रेरी एंड लेट्स यूज दिस सेम आइकन एज दिस एंड ऑल्सो दिस कॉमेंट लेट्स कॉपी इट एंड पेस्ट इट हेयर एंड लेट्स कॉल दिस फंक्शन इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस सिंपल फैब नाउ लेट्स रन अवर एप अगेन so now we can see here we have this small floating action button let's click on this and we can see this is our small fab so let's minimize this and let's create one more composable function for that large fab again let's call that large floating action button composable function and copy these same icon and the same comment now let's use this one instead of this and let's run it again so here we have this large floating action button but we can see that icon size is not appropriate for that large fab so what we need to do we also need to specify the size of this icon first let's make a separate line and let's use modifier let's use this floating action button defaults and large icon size so this default values we will use for this size so let's run it again so now we can see our icon size is appropriate for that large fab so first let's minimize this and in material design 3 we have the flexibility of extended fabs as well these fabs can contain text labels in addition to icons so let's create one more composable function for that let's use this composable function from material 3 library we need to provide icon and the text label through these parameters so let's delete these parentheses and here first let's copy this comment and use it here and also let's provide the icon and let's use the icon this one and then there is this text parameter so here we can provide the text so let's use a simple text and also let's rename our function to that extended fab and let's use our function here now let's run our app again so here is our extended floating action button so we can see here we have provided an icon and also a text composable and now let's minimize this and let's go down so here we have two overloads so first let's minimize this and we have used this overload where we will provide the an icon and text suppose we don't need to provide the content of this floating action button through these two parameters so what in that case we can also do something like let's use the parenthesis so here we have this row scope so here we can provide these two things in the end we will get the same result like this so let's run our app again so here i need to remove this comma also so let's run it again so now we can see here is our extended floating action button but we can see there is no space so here we can use an spacer also something like this with the width of 
let's say 10 dp but it will be good if we provide in the earlier manner like through these parameters so let's go back to that earlier version and other than these parameters we also have one more parameter called expanded so here we can provide i state for this expanded or not so let's provide this expanded state through the parameter of this function and let's use that expanded here and above when where we are using this expanded so here let's use so here what we will do when we will scroll through this list so this extended fab will collapse to a simple fab and when we will scroll uh, back to the first item then it will expand to it normal state so for that let's create few states here So here I have created these two states. So first this is giving error. So let's import two more values here. This get value and this set value. So this won't give error anymore. So here how I have created this state first. I have used this lazy list state. So I will use this list state to our lazy list because the expanded state of this extended floating action button will be dependent on this list so let's use that list state here so here in this is expanded i am using this list state and checking if the first visible item index is equal to zero if it is not then it is expanded state will be false so let's use this state here now we can run our app and see the changes so here is our extended fab so let's scroll down this list so here we can see our fab has collapsed to a simple fab but when we scroll all the way up ever so it will go back to the normal state so here it will expand again so we can also provide this functionality through this expanded state so again let's click ctrl b so here is the documentation of this extended floating action button we also have used these parameters other than these are these default values because the default values are the best according to material 3 guidelines so i have not changed any of these so let's close this file and other than this floating action button in this scaffold we also have one more parameter related to this fab so that one is this floating action button position we can provide a position of this fab also so let's use fab position and let's place dot so we have this two position center and end so by default the value of this fab position is end so we can also change it to center something like this let's run it so here is our extended fab in the center position so let's scroll so it collapsed into a normal floating action button and let's scroll up to the above so it is again in the expanded state it's a best practice keep your fabs simple and use them for your layouts main action a screen should contain a single fab representing the most common action it's important to ensure that the fabs action is something that users would need frequently and that it enhances the user experience. That's all for the fab in Material Design 3 using Jetpack Compose. Stay tuned for more components. Mm -hmm.